Alright guys, um, said I was going to come back about a case, um, case I'm going to talk to you about right now is, uh, you can see it, and in this case, it's a bail engine and due process of law pretrial detainees. Discussion of the standard review applicable when a party appeals from an adverse judgment by a signal justice under GLC 211, comma, section 3, quotation 697. The court concluded that Superior Court judge was obliged to consider a criminal offender's financial resources in setting bail. Well, they, uh, this case is a big case that came out in Massachusetts. Um, a couple years ago for people that are pre-trial detainees. Um, more or less now, um, this is how you get it, basically, through uh, an appeal when you get denied bail. Um, there was another case, Vasquez. Vasquez uh, was denied it. Um, the other one is Baker. Baker, P. Commonwealth. Um, Baker was denied it. But the judge never said why he was denying it. So what happened was is that they were vacated, like I've been saying in all the comments. Okay, turtle truck chick, talking shit. So when you're saying that, um, this is the proof right here that it will be vacated. And the, qual the, the what's going on here is, is that they got somebody that should have had their charge dismissed. And they wouldn't be held. And in Massachusetts, under the law, it says up to 60 days if you get arrested. Up, maybe, maybe, not up to, well, it is up to, but maybe. So when you say maybe, it doesn't mean necessarily. I mean, I've seen people get arrested while on probation or on bail in Massachusetts and then don't get it, don't continue on the same, or they change it, they up it, they modify it. But... This is a this is a real real tricky situation because he shouldn't be locked up right now, and everybody that's going around saying he has um criminal charges. Everything I've seen you guys post and read, um, I looked into it myself. I Corey, it says right on the thing. It's only gonna give you um, it's only gonna give you um more or less. It's gonna give you a uh, arraignment. And then it's going to give you a uh, arrest record. Ooh, arrest record. You can have 150 arrests and no convictions. Do you know that? Or are you guys over here trying to friggin' say, Oh, that's in a conviction. No, it ain't a conviction. It can't be used against you in a court of law. No conviction is no conviction. So... Your point is, I haven't seen any of you come back and say he he served 25 fucking years probation and did 17 years friggin' served or 17 months served for this. I have not seen a single one of you guys come back and said he sent over a single friggin' day other than now wait in trial with anything else. So you guys are just going out there making shit the fuck up. Stop it. It doesn't make any fucking sense. But getting back to this, due to his inability to post bail, must be considered to the length of the defendant's pretrial detention and equities in the case. Uh, uh, so basically, they uh, he got his. They were fighting a case where he was accused. This guy was accused of robbery. I'm gonna stop this.